I F 35 believe my husband M 40 is cheating on me with our nanny F 16 husband 45 M and nanny 22 F conundrum. I have four wonderful children and have been married for 10 years. I have an amazing relationship with my husband. However, I believe he may be cheating on me with our babysitter. She has been our babysitter for about six months now. I am not her biggest fan but she has been rather helpful during quarantine. I have been stuck dealing with my children's virtual school so it is nice to have a break when she can come over after hers. Her and I's relationship can only be described as awkward. She seems in a rush to leave when I get home no matter how hard I attempt to bond with her. She is so concerned with getting home. However, I have learned sometimes she will stay and talk to my husband. I have tried to hard to foster a relationship with her. I pay her extra and I will buy her stuff sometimes. She doesn't seem at all interesting in talking to me. I am just so lost. She will, however, accept gifts from husband. I had a phenomenal relationship with our last nanny Jessie. I was devastated when she left us to go to college. She still visits and goes to brunch with me. Now the real conflict starts when I go invited Kara to go to the vineyard with us. I needed her help with the children. She refused because apparently she had lacrosse. After everything we do for her, she could be a little more accommodating. However, later in the summer she agreed to go when my husband brought down our children. He needed the help but I was frustrated she refused to go when I was there. There were some pictures where I thought she was a little too close to my husband. I saw one where she's sitting on his lap but he said it was because she was holding our baby. I was not a fan of her behavior. The other night, she left her crew neck apparently on the floor in one of our twins' room. I came home to it folded and on my nightstand. My little boy told me it was hers. I was frustrated and tossed it on the floor. My husband told me that was rude and he was simply keeping it for her. I have suspected something was happening between them for a long time. She gives him hugs and will be all over him but refuses to make eye contact and cannot speak a sentence to me without stuttering. A few days later she left her phone on the floor in our room and there were used scenedoms in the bin. I came home early one night and she had one of my husband's t-shirts on backwards. He said the baby got sick on her. Frankly, she looked sloppy. I came home one night and she seemed very frazzled. She told me to tell my husband she would see him next time. The other night I found underwear in my husband's work shirt drawer. I am convinced they are hers because she is so small. What should I do about it? He refuses to fire her because I had Jesse first who he did not love so now it was my turn. I think it is ridiculous. I do not like her. I try so hard and she refuses to show me any respect. She says no every time I attempt to bond with her. However, apparently she can sleep around with my husband. I am so frustrated with her. This is why he wants her around. She cannot even help me during the little one's school. I have to wait for her to get out to come over. I am so frustrated. He is disrespecting the sanctity of marriage and with my little ones around. I am started to gather evidence and I want to sit her down. TLDR I have suspected my husband has been cheating on me with the nanny for a long time and now I'm starting to have evidence. I have tried so hard to have a relationship with her but she refuses. What can I do? Story 2. Husband 45M and Nanny 22F Conundrum. Previously posted on our nanny but this sub is probably much more aligned with the main issue at hand. Honestly, I am such an emotional mess right now and keep asking myself over and over what could a grown man possibly have in common with the nanny who is young enough to be his daughter and has never uttered a word to his wife about this after hours arrangement that has been going on for a long time according to our oldest child when indirectly asked about it. I am using a throwaway for reasons specified below. My husband 45M and I 38F have three children, two girls and a boy, ranging between the ages of 4-9 and our current nanny has been with us for 19 months thus far. She is 22 years old and currently taking a gap year before commencing grad school in the fall. She had previously babysat for one of my close friends who also knows her family and came with many good recommendations in tow. Our previous nanny was in her 30s and had been with us since my oldest child was a few months old but was moving away from Oakland in June, 
2017 and could no longer make the commute to us which necessitated the need for someone else. When I eventually conducted the interview with this new girl a few days later, she made quite an impression with my kids and they had taken a liking to her almost immediately so it was a no-brainer. Since hiring her, this girl has practically become a part of our family as she babysits almost every weekend, spending Saturdays out with my kids and on some weekdays depending on my schedule. She has also come along with us on trips to Hawaii, Florida, and Mexico. I have no complaints about the way she handles my children, they practically love her to bits and she does a really good job on that front. As the title suggests however, I have been seriously contemplating nanny cameras during these past four days, initially sparked by a situation that transpired with my husband last weekend whereby the nanny was supposed to leave as soon as the kids were put to bed by 10.30 and go home. This is how it has always been or at the very least, how I've wanted it to be and expect her to follow through with it. I plan corporate events for a living and Saturdays are some of my busiest days so I'm usually not home until midnight or even later on some occasions. On this particular Saturday, I got home at 1 o'clock in the morning and found this girl still in my house, putting on her coat as I opened the door to step into my foyer and my husband had walked directly behind her leading from our den. It appears that she had already been paid and looked flustered for a minute. When I asked what she was still doing here, she responded we were watching a movie, the we referring to my husband and her of course. It was already so late and there was no way I was going to probe further so I put on a fake smile, told her bye and out she went. I immediately rolled my eyes at my husband and began to walk up the stairs to our bedroom not saying a word. He knew I was angry ran up behind me to tell me that he couldn't just tell her to leave and it's not like she's a stranger in this house. My intuition told me that something isn't quite right here and haven't been able to shake those feelings off since. The next day, I had asked one of my daughters about what time they had went to bed and she said her younger siblings were already in bed but she slept later since the nanny and her father were talking a lot and laughing that she could hear them all the way upstairs until she fell asleep. She told me that they do this on most Saturday evenings so obviously someone must have lost track of time, no? I haven't asked my husband about this as yet. This is where it begins to get muddied for me however and in part, probably is due to my own naivety. This young lady who is quite attractive and full of promise has had a crush on my husband from the moment she began working for us and I overheard her speaking to her friend on loudspeaker from the landing above and out of sight while she was tying my son's shoelaces at the bottom of the main stairwell. She told her friend that she was working and the friend immediately responded with the one with the hot dad, she said yes and turned off the loudspeaker as soon as one of my daughters slid down the banister. To be honest, it didn't bother me then and I wasn't going to blame a young girl for having a harmless crush on an older man that will go nowhere. I did tell my husband about it soon afterwards and the both of us laughed it off. However, that was a different place and time in my life however because I have to admit that the aforementioned incident has now made me turn me into a paranoid mess within a few short days and led me to go back and revisit all of the photographs we had taken on our trips with this girl. In so many of them, my husband holds her closely around the waist and they are both sporting mile-wide smiles. On some Saturdays, she has also joined my kids and husband on day trips while I am busy with work. I do find it amazing that my husband doesn't talk much to her beyond small talk and the kids when I am around but suddenly has a lot to say when I'm not. He also has a habit of tipping her graciously whereas I stick to the predefined amount according to the number of hours spent. In retrospect, there are situations that now make me question them and if these two are going behind my back or if it's just my overactive imagination assuming the worst? Firing her is out of the question for now but I think installing nanny cameras would help restore my sanity and hopefully put this paranoia to rest.